So one of the uh, great benefits of a ground tent, as you can see, is its size. It's about half the weight, if not less, than uh, the roof tent itself, and yet it takes up hardly any space. So if you don't want to put a lot of weight on your roof, uh, and you've got room in the vehicle to store stuff, then a ground tent might be what you're looking for. And as you can see over here, we've got that same tent I've just showed you uh, packed up, laid out here for you, and it's a good size. I mean, inside there's at least room for three people uh, to sleep in here. You haven't quite got the length of a roof tent, but width-wise, um, it's probably bigger. It's cheaper, it's lighter, and uh, you don't have to leave it on the vehicle. So if you're in a, in a safe environment, you can drive away and leave it there if you've got other people you're traveling with to keep an eye on your tent. So here we are on day 14 of our trip and um, we've been out in the desert now for only about four days but it's given us a good chance to test some of this kit pretty well um, and we've been, Bob and I, um, because of the soft sand his uh, little tent's been quite hard to put up so we've been sharing this, uh, this <coughs> travel tramp tent and uh, as we said before when we were looking at them in the UK there is good space here, there's enough room in here for three people so Bob and I um, have been in here um, either side which has given us room for a couple of wolf boxes in between us to have the lantern on we'll show you the setup later and um, Bob's in his own tent tonight because he wants some uh, alone time so I'm here on my own so I'm going to film um, how we sort of set things up it is really cold in the desert at night um, certainly if you're higher up in the uh, in the mountain ranges it gets really cold 
and I've been doubling up on sleeping bags. I've got a lightweight sleeping bag that I use, and if it gets really cold, I've got an army bag which is designed for wearing kit, so I can slip that uh, inside it. Anyway, back to the Campmore gear. So we've tried, the director's chairs have come in handy, and Bob's a little bit more cynical than I've been, and, and uh, originally thinking that they look pretty uncomfortable. And, um, you know, they do, they don't look super comfy, but they are. I mean, they, they've really sort of tested well. So the nice thing is they do stack up flat, do pack flat and we have been using these bags um, that they come in. Now we have been using these all um, all week however to be honest today was the first day we didn't use them and the chairs packed into the truck a lot easier uh, and a lot tighter but saying that these are quite handy to have. The chairs are by far the cleanest thing we've got left um, you know they're not sandy they're not gritty because they get put away every night but These bags are quite handy. Um, you do generate a lot of rubbish out here in the desert and you don't want to be leaving it about. So these have come in quite handy for keeping um, rubbish bags in because they're, they're, you know, they're very um, durable. They're quite nice as well for laying out on the sand in the evening next to the campfire. Um, you know, just to keep you off the sand, keep you, try and keep the grit at bay. But I mean, that's almost impossible when you're out here in the desert. Uh, they do serve a few purposes. Um, Bob also, one day we were out in the desert and we needed a bit of shade. Um, so we basically hung them over the windows, on the doors, the doors are open, they just sort of acted as, a, as an extra shield on the window. So I would say they're good to have, but I wouldn't necessarily use them all the time to protect the chairs. But if I was buying the chairs, I'd certainly get them with the bag. Um, another thing we've been using is uh, the cooler bag. Now, um, it does look like any other cooler bag, and I'm not an, an expert on cooler bags. All I can say is we've been running the freezer in the, uh, in the truck, and we've been using those ice blocks, and it's been keeping everything really cool. I mean, even in the vehicle, uh, you know, in the heat, it's sort of behind the driver's seat, which does get quite hot on the floor. Um, it's kept things really cool. So we've had, like, a couple, of, a couple of bottles of water in here every day. We've had two out first thing in the morning out of the fridge. And then we'd be running two in here um, to keep them cool and some Red Bulls and stuff. And really, I think that's I think it's an excellent bit of kit. It does fit also quite neatly in um, one of the jerry can holder slots, which we've freed up now because we've put the, the fuel on top of the vehicle. So I would definitely bring that again. Um, the toilet stool. Now um, we did, <laughs> I did film the toilet stool being used, and um, everybody has has mocked it, and uh, me me included. It just looks completely useless, like it's going to be an awful state after you've used it just once. However, um, again, we're always saying that, you know, if you can use, if you can find more than one use out of a product, um, then it's probably worth bringing it on tour. And um, certainly that has been quite handy as a stool. Um, we've rested the stove on it. Uh, it's just been good as a plinth for lots of different things. And I did use it, um, you know, as, for, for its intended use uh, the other day. And I was actually amazed how nice it was to use because, um, I was able to sit back and, and just uh, not rush things, which is uh, something that I haven't had the pleasure of doing for about two weeks. So I found myself a suitable spot for this. Up on top, lovely view. I've dug myself the hole. I'll stick the chair on. It's not great in the sand because you obviously have to dig a massive hole and uh, there's not much left, but we'll give it a go. So there's the setup. <coughs> Got my lighter, uh, fold up spade, uh, got the toilet roll and the toilet seat. Number one first, I think, before I get on that, and then we'll see how it goes. So, again, for the cost of it, uh, it's probably quite practical because even if you, you know, even if you don't want to consider using it as a toilet seat, you can use it for all those other purposes. And on the one day, you really want to, you know, chill out and have a. Shit. It's good. So. <laughs> 